I'm Lindsay, and I'm going to show you how to get this 60s-inspired smoky eye. Right, so let's get started. Start off with the skin. I'm going to use a little bit of Origins on my skin. This is Make a Difference. It's a really light moisturiser. And then I'm just going to go on to a little bit of primer. This is Estee Lauder Matte Primer. It's very good for oily skin, um, just because it takes away any of the shine. OK, so now I'm going to go on to my foundation. I want a very matte look because it's 60s. So I'm going to use NARS Sheer Glow and I'm also going to use some Illamasqua under my eyes. As usual, we just start down by the bottom of the face, check the colour. I'm just using a little Real Techniques foundation brush and I like to go all the way up to the jaw. This colour looks good. So what I'll do now is just buff it into the skin. Give it that beautiful airbrush finish. I work in little sections all over the face. The reason for that is that the foundation doesn't start to set before it's been buffed. So now I'm going to go on to my eyebrows. I'm going to use my Urban Decay uh, Neutral Brown for this. When I'm doing my own eyebrows, I prefer to use a pencil for some reason, I just feel I have a bit more control. So I start off by brushing them into shape, and then the same kind of process, I like to start at the arch and work down. Right, so now on to the eyes. I find the easiest, quickest way to do this look is to use a paint pot. I use a Delilah gel liner, it's black. So we'll grab a flat brush, and then basically just start painting. So we're going over the entire lid. Don't go too far up because we've got to really buff and smoke that out. And then we come underneath. And it's always better to build up rather than suddenly find that you've put way too much on. And just come inside the corner of the eye there, but I'm just leaving this little gap here where I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter. This whole look is very matte, so the highlighter that I'm going to use is also very matte. It's um, Yoga by MAC, and then I'm using one of my Fierce Face brushes, just a little pencil brush, dusting in to the corner of the eye. Perfect. OK. So now we're going to come back over the top of the eye with some powder. So I like this little angled brush to get into the socket with, and I'm just using my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette because the pigment is, is very strong, so any kind of black with a really strong pigment is what you want. First of all, I'm just going to seal in the liner. You can see straight away I'm getting full down. Don't worry about that, we're going to take it all off afterwards. It's one of the only looks that I would not put concealer on first because there's absolutely no way of avoiding fall down. Right, so once it's all sealed in, now you've got to get really, really firm with your buffing. So you want quite a flat, small brush um, just to really buff out the edges to start with. We're just trying to distress the shape here. I'm not trying to completely smooth the line. Get a nice smolder underneath now. Right, now we need a buffing brush. Just dip it in a tiny bit of black, take off the excess. So just tiny little circular motions, back and forth, back and forth. OK, so now we can do some cleaning up underneath and all round to get it in a really nice, clean cat eye look. What I do is I just use a cotton bud and dip it in a little bit of moisturiser. I find if you use like a makeup wipe, it just takes far too much makeup off, and you only need a little amount to come off. So now I'm going to get a nice little concealer brush. I'm going to use this. 
So I'm going to use NC20 Pro Longwear Concealer. Now for a little bit of contouring. This is just what brings the whole look together. Just brings it to life. Tiny touch here through the forehead. A little bit on the chin. Okay. Now we need to buff it in with a different kind of brush. So I'm just going to use one of my blending brushes. Don't press too hard that you rub the concealer away. Obviously, you want to keep the product on the skin and just soften the lines. And then through the top there, I'm just going to run over with my original buffing brush just to blend that in really nicely. So now let's get some lashes on. I'm going to use Girls With Attitude and they're called Glamour, these lashes. I think they're perfect for the look. So a tiny bit of duo glue. I've got quite big eyes, so I never normally need to cut my lashes down, which does make life easier. Look down. Pop it into the middle of the eyes. Okay, they're on. Now we can do some highlighting. So I'm going to use a little bit of Soft and Gentle by MAC and Moonstone by Becca. Underneath the eye with a little eyeshadow fluffing brush. And then Soft and Gentle over the top. Tiny bit down the tip of the nose and on the cupid's bow. Lovely. Right, now let's do some cheeks. So I use um, a Real Techniques brush for that. Nice, small, detailed brush. I'm going to use um, MAC for this. It's called Give Me Sun. It's a lovely little contouring bronzer. It hasn't got any shimmer in it, it's just a neutral colour. OK, now let's do some lips and pull the whole look together. I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury for my lips. This is Iconic Nude. Still got that nice highlight on the cupid's bow. And then on top of that, it's the Nude Cape. Perfect kind of 60s vibe. So there you have it. I've teamed it up with a little beehive and I'm feeling very 60s. That's the 60s smoky eye look.